guys, my teeth. <laughs> Guys, what's up? OMG, we are in Jamaica. <laughs> We're in Jamaica, guys, and of course, I look crazy because y'all know I just got out of the hospital, so. Yeah, your girl needs to like get herself together. So I'm about to head to the shop right now to see if my girl Julie can give me like a shampoo and press my hair because girl, I look crazy right now. This is what it looks like when you're in the hospital for like a whole week and almost half. Like, like a week and a half. We can like a couple days and yeah, we gotta get it right. We gotta get it right. We gotta get it right. We're in Jamaica. The sky is beautiful. Look at the sky. The air is fresh and nice. And the trees are looking gorgeous. So, yeah, let's head to the shop to get our hair done. A little bit later, I should be going out with my friend Anna to this um, restaurant thing. She's actually here. Say hey, girl. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> she's here, and we should be going out a little bit later. So I'm gonna go shampoo my hair and get cute. Hey guys, so we just got to the shop. They still have up the Christmas tree. I don't know what's going on, but girl, it's Valentine's, not Christmas. Um, yeah, I'm about to shampoo my hair. Say hi, Julie. Hey. <laughs> I'm about to shampoo my hair, y'all. So let's go. Just let it play, Lido. Oh my gosh, you guys, this feels so good right now. A fresh, clean scalp, clean hair. Oh my gosh, cannot wait to be done and just looking glam and feeling fab. If you guys have watched my previous vlog, y'all would know that I was in the hospital for like a week, so I'm trying to feel like myself again. the door and we'll be going to Epikin. It's like a, what is it called? Let me tell you what it's called right now. Epikin Tapas. My friend Anna and I, Hi. and we're about to go there and we're gonna meet up with my other friend, Zaina. Yeah guys, so we're about to head out, so we'll see you when we get there. Bye. 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 <laughs> guys. Say hi. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute in here. So cute. Real hot girl shit. Control me, baby. You need the real one in your life. Them bitches ain't gon' give it to you, right? I'd rather be your B I T C H. Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm tripping anyway. You know you can't control me, baby. You need the real one in your life. Them bitches ain't gon' give it to you, right? I'd r
C-H Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm trippin' anyway You know you can't control me, baby You need a real one in your life Them bitches ain't gon' give it to you, right? Why you wanna play with me? You know I'm undefeated A real high girl know how to keep a nigga Welcome, Detox to Body, Eczema, Rash, Mosquito Bite. Get it from the hot water. And the hot water up there is 130 degree hot from the rat naturally. Good for any aches and pain, any stress. Only thing the hot water don't good for a bad mind, but anything else. My name is O'Neill. Yeah, me on Instagram all over, TikTok all over. Three minute walk up to the hot spring. Welcome to Bad Fountain. Original. Ten years now, what a service. Hey you guys, so we just got here. OMG, you guys, we're here. Damn, my hair look crazy. O'Neill. We are here you guys. Hey Anna. We're about to go to the hot spring at Bath. It's a bath spring. And we're about to get um clay body massage and everything. Ah, so exciting. So we have the younger generation that to come to analyze about. Hey, we are ready yet. Yeah man, I the hot water that I'm going to chop on the girl, you know? Yeah. Hot water, yeah. Heal up your body, you know? Make you all just the way you were when you was a little girl and all them. Girl. When the building of them water, I'm a virgin, you burn off all of the bad mind and the grudgeful people, them are fire. <laughs> yeah. I think we reach us, Uncle. Eh? Me know, man. <laughs> No, I'm a I'm a virgin, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm
you guys. So we're finished at the river and we just got some food, some jerk chicken neck and festival. We're about to eat that and then head back to the apartment. So I will talk to you guys a little bit Good morning you guys. OMG. I just got out of the shower. I kind of like rock wash my face when I was taking a shower and I shampooed my hair because yesterday you guys we went to Bath River like you guys saw in the previous clips. It was so good. Like I think that was the best massage I've ever had in my entire life no cap and not only was the massage like super physical it was extremely spiritual because they prayed too and they used the hot water from the spring they splash it on you they use like some, some sort of like clay mud thing they put over your body that's supposed to like detoxify your pores and they use some herbs i don't remember the name of the herbs i'm gonna try to find out and put it right here so you can see and they use that herbs to make you like wash your face and your entire body and, and all of those is to like purify and detoxify the body it was like the ultimate massage experience or must i say the ultimate spiritually massage experience they also used some oils, like some essential oils, and I um, actually bought like five bottles. Let me show you guys. This is the oils that they use. Coconut oil, lavender oil, and preventive seed oil. So good. This is the person's number if you're in Jamaica and you want to like, you know, check them out. It smells absolutely good. I put this on my skin in the shower as my last step before stepping out and it just feels so moisturizing. Not only does it feel that way, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. So yesterday they told us we're not supposed to like take a shower until today. So this is my first shower <laughs> since yesterday morning. I took a shower, about to do my skincare, and I was like, you know what, let me hop on here, talk to you guys a little bit, and show you guys my updated skincare routine. Because my skin was like breaking out so crazily for the past like three months. Um, I want to say since like around December, my skin just started to go crazy. I don't know what happened, but I felt like um, during the Christmas, I was eating like very poorly and like my skin just became extremely inflamed. But right now, it's like looking a lot better if you guys could see like, I mean, some of the scars are still there because Omar had popped the pimples. So I still have some dark spots going on if you look closely, but they're actually like fading right now. And I think the skincare that I'm using actually works wonders with like helping my face. So I want to um, show you guys like a little updated routine. I had to wash my face in the shower, but I only use like water. So now I'm going to go in with my cleanser. This is the Herbivore Aquarius cleanser. It's a um, it's a BHA Blue Tense Clarifying Cleanser. I absolutely love this thing. I'm so happy that I'm in Jamaica right now. I decided to come here after I left the hospital because I'm like, you know, I need to like come back to my roots and I need to just like cleanse my body and just like detoxify and purify from the inside out. Eat some good food, some nice, healthy, natural fruits and veggies without all the additives and preservatives. And y'all know in the US, like no matter how freaking organic you try to go, it's still not as it came from the ground, like how it is here in Jamaica. Like I just need all that natural stuff to just like reset my system. So that's the reason why I'm here. I'm actually going to be here for two weeks. Two weeks I'm here, it's not even for like work or leisure. It's just for me. It's just for me to just like take in the fresh air, take in the fresh food, and just like reset, you know. It's so windy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's so windy out there. But yeah, that's the reason why I'm here right now, you guys. Just two weeks to just get away and just reset. I'm going to wash this off. Okay, so I rinsed my face off, looking all nice and clean. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go in with this product. I think I had shown you guys this in one of my previous vlogs also. I just love the way how it feels. It feels like it's actually doing the job. I love how gritty it is when you like massage it over your face. I'm gonna focus mostly on my cheeks because that's where I have most of my scarring and pimples. 
I don't really have any pimples right now. It's more like scarring right now. Let's wash it off. I'm just gonna pat dry my face with my face towels. These are from Clean Skin Club, girl. I do not leave this at all. Like I make sure I pack them with me because I do not use regular paper towels or towels that I like dry my hands or stuff like that with on my face because I, I noticed that like when you do stuff like that, like the bacteria transfer to your skin and you'll get definitely get like a breakout this is all dry nice clean i've been on the hunt to find the perfect toner and i finally found her oh my gosh i love this thing so much it's by biosense and it's a solid cellulane bha pore minimizing toner you guys know i always have like issues like right here and i feel like this thing literally works wonders it smells so good too girl it smells so good this is a retinol alternative eye cream one of the best eye cream i've used i'm using my pinky finger now i'm gonna go in with my snail mucin and also during my morning routine i like to use my um vitamin c and not only does it has like vitamin c but it also has like turmeric vitamin c is an essential product in my morning skincare routine this step i always try to include especially with me right now having like these little dark spots and stuff so i'm just gonna like press that into my skin you have to be intentional with pressing your serums so in you can't just like rub it all over you literally gotta just like Press it in, press it in. I'm gonna go in with my good molecules. This brand is like my holy grail brand. I absolutely love this brand. I have like about four serums from them. Um, I think I only brought two with me to Jamaica. So I brought this one, which is a discoloration correcting serum because of my skin again. All this discoloration that's going on, we need to like get that corrected ASAP. And I also brought, brought the nice to the nice serum with me. And I'm gonna do the same thing by pressing it all in. I'm gonna go in with my glow recipe. Tap that in. Again, we're gonna allow that to just seep into the skin. Yeah. I'm obsessed with serums. Oh my gosh, I'm completely obsessed with serums. I have so many serums, you guys. It's crazy. So obviously, I'm obsessed with this brand. This is my new obsession. This is what I'm gonna be using for my moisturizer today. I have two face oils that I like to use. You could use either of them morning or night. I like to use this one at night time because of how it smells. It has like a really relaxing aroma. So we're gonna use this later tonight for our nighttime skincare routine. And we're gonna go in with this one, Good Molecules. So I'm literally gonna just put three drops. Guys, I live for face oil. I'm gonna just press that into my skin. And then, our last step is this little bad boy. This is from Solaware. It's supposed to activate their skincare product and allow it to like penetrate the skin even better. And it also has like red light that's good for like bacteria, it has like a mild vibration that's good for like fine lines and wrinkles. It generates heat. So I like to go in with this every morning and every night after my skincare routine just to make sure the serums are activated. You can actually rotate this part. So you can do it like that. You can turn it this way. Oh my gosh, it's so windy, the doors are slamming. what i'm going to do with my hair today because oh my gosh you guys it's like just like soaking wet right now i was gonna be like oh just like keep it like this you know it's where it like curly but honestly i don't know about that because i should be going out later tonight with my friend dana to this um new restaurant that opened up here in jamaica called mystic thai so i feel like i need to go to the shop and make julie um Give me a, a blowout. 
but for now it's like i don't i'm not like ready to go to the shop right now so i feel like i may just have her like reshampoo my entire hair and just put some gel in it right now to just make it look a little bit decent throughout the day and then a little bit later around like two three o'clock i'll go to her to make her um just like reshampoo blow dry and press yeah i think that's what we're gonna do It's so windy. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all could hear the wind, but it's so freaking windy out there right now. Okay, so I'm gonna just use this eco gel and just brush my hair back. <laughs> like a really wet look <laughs> and nothing too fancy let's get ready i'm just wearing this like extremely long um medicine dress i don't know if y'all can see it but it's very like just simple cute sexy already to start my morning chill edit my vlog and a little bit later i'm gonna just go to the shop to do my hair Y'all, let me mute this music because can't afford to get copyrighted. But yeah, can you guys even hear me? I can't even hear myself. These freaking men talk so loud. We're in the kitchen, you guys. And, um, oh my gosh, the whole that is the boy. Yeah, the door up a lot. Lock that door. We're in the kitchen, guys, and we're going to make tea with our bush leaves that we got yesterday at Bath River. They gave us, um, what did they give us? They gave us sour stock leaves, they gave us cinnamon leaves, leaf of life, they gave us dog, dog blood leaves, and he said three days before to make it sick for you. He said three days before. Gosh, so um, and they gave us noni leaves. All these herbs and leaves is supposed to help my immune system and to regenerate my body. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Drink my herbs and leaves and everything. You know, this is what the pot is looking like right now. Boiling, it smells so good. So we have the cinnamon leaf, dog blood leaf, and we have like garlic. It's so windy, guys. <laughs> so windy. Let me turn on the light so you can see. Yeah, so we have all that stuff. We have um, all the leaves and garlic and ginger. Yeah, so I'm gonna drink my tea on my empty stomach. In the nighttime, you have to take it four hours after your last meal. And in the mornings, you just do that 30 minutes before your first meal. Oh my gosh, everything's blowing. Whoa, this wind is windy. Outside looks so good, guys. Look outside. After drinking my tea, I'm going to have my protein. This protein is from Earth Chimp. It's an organic vegan protein shake mix. I made sure to bring this with me from Florida because I love to have my proteins in the morning to start my day off along with like my vitamins and stuff like that. Love this protein because it's completely organic and it's vegan and it has 1 billion CFU probiotics in it. How better can a protein get? Tell me, it does not get any better than this. Let me show you guys what the leaf of life look like. This is the leaf of life. And this leaf, you're supposed to just like put it in your mouth, chew it up, swallow the juice from it, spit out the trash. So I'm going to do this after my tea. In order to preserve the leaf of life, you have to put it in like a cup. You can't just lay it down like that. Okay, you guys, so it's about 40 minutes since I've drank my tea and I'm about to have my protein shake. 
It has no sugar added, no salt added, no GMO, no gums, no gluten, no soy, no dairy, which is like an extremely plus, 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 plus for me. I love when I read my ingredients and I know exactly what they are and I can pronounce these words. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to make. So literally, you just use two scoops with 10 ounces of water. You can use plant milk or water. So you just put two scoops with 10 ounces. I'll be using water today. And you can also use it to blend in like your smoothies or anything like that. This is so good. It tastes absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that the ingredients are super simple and it's just so clean. You guys should definitely check this out. This will definitely be a staple in my pantry. So let me drink my protein and go get my day started, you guys. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey, you guys, what's up? So it's a little bit later and I'm about to go to dinner with my friend Dana. We're gonna go to this restaurant called Mystic Thai. I didn't end up going to do my hair earlier today because I was just so busy editing i'm actually super proud of myself with how far i got with editing this current vlog i'm like at this current point right now so what i'm recording right now that's what i need to edit so that's great that's absolutely awesome <laughs> now i see what i need to do so i can keep on track like i need to be editing in the moment you know anyways i'm about to head out and i'll see you guys when we just pulled up to the restaurant you guys oh my gosh it's so cute inside it's so cute in there, I can't wait. And I heard the food is good, so let's go eat. Follow me this way. I'll be right back. You can follow her. Follow you or you'll be right back. Um, um, Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Ready for roll and blaze up this tank and got the girls from Jam One to Hong Kong. The girl them champion. Good morning, you guys. I'm still here with the white hair. <laughs> Y'all, the restaurant last night was super good. I really enjoyed the food. I had the salmon with um, quinoa. However, I didn't really like the quinoa that much. But my friend had got some coconut rice, and her rice tasted tasted so good. So I ended up um, having some of hers, and it was so freaking good y'all like it was so 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 good i'm actually about to head out to a dentist appointment i'm going to get my teeth cleaned and then i'm gonna head back home and i think that's all i had have planned for today I got a feel like I had like 
small cavities in the front. That's so crazy. Oh my god, my lips are my lips my top lip is so numb. <laughs> oh, it's so freaking numb. I can't even move it. It looks so weird right now. My mop feels fresh and clean, which is the best thing, right? My lips are a little bit dry. We put on some lip gloss. This is definitely giving tropical vacation vibe. I'm literally putting nothing on my top lid right now. Yeah, give me one second. Oh my gosh, I'm back home from the dentist and my lip is like swollen. Only my top lip. Like it's like so freaking it's not swollen but it's like numb. I had a few cavities in the front right here and we had to do like um we had to do like a filling. I can't even lift my lip up, but we had to do like filling right there to like get rid of the cavities and so I'm so happy that we got that done. <laughs> my lip feels so weird, it kinda looks so weird too. It's not moving at all. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. So earlier this morning before I left, I was talking to one of my friends and I was telling her, you know, I'm about to go to the dentist and stuff like that. She was like, the dentist in Jamaica? What happened to like your dentist in Florida? So I'm like, yeah, I have my dentist in Florida and stuff. You know, that's where my insurance are and stuff like that. So it would have been like the be better thing to do. That it would have been like the smarter thing to do to get it done in Florida. So I get why she asked that. However, the dentist I went to, she's a client of mine, you know. She usually comes to me to get her hair extension done. So I just feel like I need to support who supports me. And being that it's somebody who I know personally, you know, and she's actually a dentist here in Jamaica. Whenever I come here, I usually take my kids there or I'll go there myself and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mom looks so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah got my teeth clean mop feels so fresh and clean cavities are gone zero cavities and they were like super super tiny cavities too and she said the reason why i have them is because my teeth they're like so fine it's like you know they're tight can't really like get there it's like flossing cavities so it's like i need to floss more i've been trying to floss every day but girl sometimes you be forgetting to floss you just brush your teeth and go <laughs> You don't even remember to floss sometime. But yeah, she said that's the reason why I have those like small cavities. She actually do veneers too. So I'm actually considering getting them done. Uh, Omar did his and his looks so good. He did his probably like three years ago in Colombia. So he was asking me at that time too if I wanted to get my done, mine done. I was like, mm, I don't want them. But now it's like they, they kind of grew on me a bit more now throughout the years. So I'm like, you know, I should probably do get some veneers. So that's something I'm actually considering to see if I would want to get that done and have her do that service for me here in Jamaica. Yeah, so if you're in Jamaica and you want to go find a good dentist, Dr. Chanel Lee, very good dentist. I love her um, work. She's absolutely nice and clean. The customer service was amazing. Her staff is absolutely nice. I really like it. From my walk-in, from my appointment to leaving, everything was just perfect. So yeah, definitely love it. You guys should check it out. So it's a little bit later and I'm here editing the vlog, the current of vlog that's gonna go up in a couple days. I just sent to, um, that's the kids on the phone, y'all. I have them on FaceTime right now. Oh my gosh, my cone broke. I sent to Devon who has to get me. Yeah. Oh, my ice cream fell off the thing. That's my mother-in-law, y'all. We are face down with the kids. <laughs> Whenever you go to Jamaica, you have to make sure that you visit Devon House Ice Cream, okay? Because they literally have the best ice cream ever. Hi, y'all. Um, <laughs> my mom-in-law said, hi, y'all. I usually get the rum and raisin ice cream, but at this point, I can't because... You know, I can't have any liquor right now, so I had to like resort to the good old pistachio. Marnie, watch your mouth. 
Hey guys, how's it going? It's the next day and my hair looks so great right now. I'm actually at the shop right now. I just shampooed my hair and my hair looks bad. Like, oh, finally, no more wet hair. Last time at my Instagram story, I asked you guys a QA. I did a little QA and you guys sent in a few questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions now. Let's see what we got. Um, you guys kind of act the same thing multiple times, different people. Okay, so the first question is, what camera do you use to take your photos? They're flawless. Yes, girl, I know my pictures are bomb. They're super duper flawless. You obviously do not watch my vlogs. You do not, because if you did, you would have known exactly what camera I use. But nonetheless, I use the Canon G7X Mark III. And that camera is so freaking bomb. Like, my pictures has been like fire. They've been eaten ever since I've started to use that camera. Like, the camera is just the best camera ever. I haven't used my phone to take pictures in a very a long time. The camera is literally all I use because the quality is just top tier. On to the next question. You've lost lots of weight what did you do what did i do starve myself <laughs> literally i did a strict 16 hour fast and i stayed extremely dedicated to my routine so i was very strict like i literally didn't eat 16 hours per day for months and now i'm at my desired weight i feel like i'm a little bit too skinny right now maybe a little too skinny maybe i need to gain back like about like five pounds which is like pretty easy to do which i know i'm definitely gonna gain that being here in jamaica eating all that food <laughs> but yes that's what i did girl i love your style admire your work and obsessed with your youtube videos thank you so much i appreciate it so much mm, thank you so 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 much it says no question only to say continue to do your thing Thank you so much for the encouragement and I'll definitely keep doing my thing. Stay tuned for all the greatness that's supposed to be coming, girl. The next question. Not a question again. I look in hella cute and I love the hair. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Jilly. That was your question. <laughs> no question, but a suggestion. I think you should do an online training for EXO links. Love your content. I've been sleeping on online training for EXO links. I personally feel like I need to like buckle down and take it a lot more serious and indulge more into that aspect of my business. Um, I think that would be extremely beneficial, uh, especially in times like these when I need to like take a step back and just reset. Like I would have that to do when I cannot be in stores physically. You know what I'm saying? So I really do think I need to do that too the next one says another question you're so fucking beautiful <laughs> blushes thank you so much your kind words and positivity means a lot to me thank you so much girl and you are freaking beautiful too the next question is do you feel better after removing your breast implants I hope you do. Yes, I do feel a lot better. I won't even lie. Um, I must say though, there's days when I feel 100% and there's days when I feel probably like 80%. I've been trying to learn to give myself grace because I really did go through a lot. Like I haven't like put out um detailed info, but I went through a lot. And I'm learning to give myself grace and to give my body time to heal because my doctor told me that it's something that could take years for your body to like reset and go back to normal it's not gonna just happen overnight everybody's body is different some people may go back to normal within a year i may take two three four years like you just never know you know so i'm learning to give myself grace and to just to take it a day at a time even though it does get super annoying when my immune system goes haywire but yeah thank you so much for checking in i really do appreciate the concern and the well wishes how do you balance family and work honestly um Finding balance between family and work is a constant juggle. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, it's 
it can be hard it can be very tough and you have to be extremely strong i would say i prioritize um effective time management communication and setting boundaries to ensure i could represent for both my family and work commitments um i think that's what keeps everything together and flowing in place another one what do you take photos with phone or camera if camera model please I primarily take my photos with the Canon G7X Mark III. Um, uh, photos, I usually take photos on my um, iPhone. Not so much, I don't think. Mm -mm. Mostly on my camera. Uh, especially if I know I'm going out, I'm definitely going to whip that camera out. Like, <laughs> it's coming with me. <laughs> Um, but like random day-to-day -day pictures, regular day-to-day -day pictures, that would be on my phone, which is a iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro Max currently. The next question is, where in the country are you from? I think I knew you knew you when I was living there back in the days. I'm a country girl. Yes, a Saint Elizabeth girl. Saint Elizabeth, Jamaica. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Which skincare product you couldn't live without? Hmm. One skincare product I couldn't live without is sunscreen, okay? That is a staple in my skincare routine, sunscreen. Protecting the skin from the sun harmful sun rays is a essential in maintaining a healthy, youthful looking skin, okay? Sunscreen is the key product in skincare completely. And then other from sunscreen is my serums. <laughs> I'm obsessed with serums, but sunscreen I couldn't live without for sure. What is your favorite moment from 2023? My favorite moment from 2023. <laughs> it's okay. My favorite moment from 2023. My favorite moment from 2023 was I don't even know. Hold on one second. Shit, my camera gonna die too. Hello? <laughs> yeah. No, let me see. Oh yeah, nice. Let me see her face. Yeah. Her face. Let me see her face. I call her Bobby. She's Bobby. Alright, guys, I'll call you right back. Bye. Bye. Alright. Okay, so my favorite moment from 2033 was when I achieved a personal milestone that I had been working towards for a very long time. It was truly rewarding and a, and a unforgettable experience that brought me a lot of joy. Somebody's at the gate. I think that's my drive, actually. Will you be doing a day in the life as a mom routine video? Uh, I don't consider that. Um, they the life as a mom. That would be like a really good video to actually do. That's really a great idea. Does motherhood ever get overwhelming to you? Motherhood overwhelming. Of course, what mother does not get overwhelmed? <laughs> Of course it does. At times, motherhood can be extremely overwhelming, okay? But I believe it's a journey that's filled with ups and downs. I I try to practice self-care and get support when needed, if needed. I just remind myself that it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay. Finding a balance is the key to navigate through the challenges of motherhood. Find that balance is... Because, trust me, we all go through it. We just gotta find that balance. Random, but any tips for investments? Investment tips. Um, when it comes to investment, it's very important to do thorough research. Do, do thorough research, diversify your portfolio, consider your risk. And remember, investing is a long-term game. Patience and discipline are key. My favorite luxury brand. What is my favorite luxury brand? My camera is going to die, you guys, and I have so many more questions. Shooks. I don't even have a charger here or extra values. Um, when it comes to luxury brand, I appreciate the, the the quality and craftsmanship of brands like Louis Vuitton, um, Chanel. I really, I really be into like YSL right now, and Fendi definitely a staple in my closet every single time. I really do love Givenchy. Um, Gucci now and then not so much but overall I think my favorite would be Louis Vuitton because when I look in my closet I have like a lot of fucking Louis Vuitton I spend thousands of them bitches 
so i literally just bought me some glasses from them two nights ago they have like these blue light blocking eye glasses so like you know when you're editing on your computer or using your phone they're like um reading glasses but it's for like blue light when you're using like your electronics so i literally just bought those from them and they are so fire i cannot wait for them to be delivered i won't see them until i go home <laughs> and i'm very like excited to like go home so that i'll show you guys when i get home um what else let me see what else you're asking you guys asking the a lot of the same questions about um not not a question but just telling me to keep keep up the good work and stuff like that and a lot of questions about my implants um how do i balance yeah basically um, a lot of the questions are repetitive so i won't repeat myself because i feel like my answers do answer a lot of the questions that's been asked but yes guys so that's it for our little q and a i really appreciate the love that i've been getting from y'all i truly do appreciate it and we're still in jamaica as you could tell um i will i'll be going home in probably like about three more days i think i have like three or four more days hey guys what's up oh my gosh my camera died guys i'm so sorry but no worries because i felt like i actually answered majority of the question that was like relevant because like i feel like most of the questions were rep were, were um repetitive either way so i think what i answered will suffice you know so i'm here getting ready because i'm about to go to this place called republic i'm about to go have a drink mocktails girl mocktails yeah i'm about to go sit by the bar and drink some mocktails <laughs> yeah guys so i'm here just recurling my hair because jilly did curl my hair earlier but i didn't put any sort of product in it so the curls kind of fell um so i'm actually just like you know freshening up my curls a little bit place that i'm going is supposed to be a invitation a membership type of thing um so it's supposed to be very like cool so i'm actually excited to go check it out very excited to go check it out this is what the hair is looking like you guys <laughs> Water, we have filtered water. If not, we'll have water by the bottle, which is still our spark. 
25th, couple more days until it's March, and um, <clears throat> usually we like to play dander. We're repainting the apartment, guys, so all that's going on out there. They're about to, they're like sanding the walls and stuff. Box of walk on! You're there, and that table healed me up. I'm not asleep, man. I'm not asleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So, um, let me close the room door so I can talk to you guys. Oh, oh shit. Anyways, you guys, so February is about to be over. March is right up on us. I was just here going through all the finances for the upcoming month. I made all those payments. Hello. Yeah, and you guys, last night was so good. Guys, I got the perfect picture. I'm so obsessed with the picture. I'm using it as my wallpaper for my iPad. Like, the picture is just freaking nice, you guys. It's so pretty, like, I just love the picture. I took it last night when we went to this restaurant called Bozo. It's in New Kingston, and the food was so good. The salmon was amazing. They have like a spinach, cream spinach as a side, and guys, it was so good. The sauteed mushroom is so freaking good. Like, the food was great. Like, the food was so, so, so good. Anyways, guys, so I just paid all our bills. That's out the way. And now it's time to think about birthday. Yes, my birthday is coming. Like, my birthday is literally a couple days away. My birthday is on March 10th. And we will definitely be traveling for my birthday. Um, I already made the necessary like preparations for that. I already made all our dinner reservations, paid for like our Airbnb, booked our activities and stuff that we're about to do. Um, I invited three of my friends with me and usually when I take trips, I usually cover all the expenses for myself and my friends. Um, so literally all they gotta do is just put their ticket and show up and just turn up with me. I don't know, like I love to just like to be able to give back to the people who's around me and pour back into people who pour into me, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why for like my birthdays or whatever trip that we usually take, we usually like foot all the expenses and they just gotta show up. So I'm officially done planning my birthday and I'm so happy. All the payments are made, everything's booked. We're just ready to get on that flight. This birthday trip is gonna be more of like a chill vibe. I don't really wanna do too much. Last year we went to Cabo, we did like a lot of like party type of vibe. This year I wanted to be more like it's like dinner, beach, massage, chill, relaxed type of vibe. So that's all the type of stuff that I booked and reserved. Yeah, we have a couple more days left here in Jamaica. I feel like the time is just like going by so quick. <laughs> um, before we leave, we're actually doing some renovations to the apartment we're changing the color from gray to white 
Um, we're gonna paint everything all white. I want everything to be white, clean. And I, I kind of want to give it that aesthetic of the house in Florida um, as much as possible. So the first step is to change the walls to white. So they're out there doing that just now. I'm gonna show you guys. Everything is like gray. We're gonna change everything from gray to white. So we're going all white, guys. All white, all white, all white. And we're gonna change the couch. This entire couch is going. This couch has been going for what? So how long we had this couch? Six, seven years. <laughs> this couch been in this apartment since we got the apartment. And it's like about six years now, going on seven years. So um, this couch got to go. We're changing the walls to white. Boxer, what going? You not here look my camera. <laughs> Yeah guys, so all white walls, it's gonna look so, so good guys. So the rich. vision I have. Yes. Huh? It's gonna look so rich. It's gonna look so rich, right? Yes. You see the vision, right, Max? Yeah, it's Trust so me. Rich. It's yeah. gonna look good. I was thinking about it. We could leave them at this. If they look nice. If they can't blow spray on them. No. Yeah. Yes guys, so that is what happened so the cabinets guys these are like a dark brown black but i think we're going to change it to like black like jet black i think jet black would look so good i will talk to you guys a little bit later good morning you guys what's up you guys today is the big day oh my gosh can you believe it yes today i'll be going to get my teeth done i'm about to head out right now to go to my appointment and i'm super a duper excited i have just a tad bit of nervousness but the excitement definitely overpowers the nervousness this is what my teeth looks like now i can't wait to show you guys my new teeth oh my gosh guys i'm gonna head out now to my appointment so when i get back i'll show you my new teeth Hey you guys, what's up? Oh my gosh, oh! What's up you guys? So I just got back home from the dentist and this is what the house is looking like. Look at the house. It's almost white. Ah, painting going on y'all. <coughs> it looks so crazy in here. <coughs> Excuse me, I was eating some plant chips and I choked my damn self. But look at the apartment, look at the place, oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good already you guys. My teeth, guys, my teeth. Oh. This is gonna take some getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely gonna take some time for me to get used to it. But so far, I think I love it. I just have to get used to it. I feel like every time I look in the mirror, it's like I, all I'm seeing is my teeth. Like, I don't even wanna see this camera screen right now because oh, all I'm seeing is my teeth. <laughs> Guys, oh, they look good though. I'm not even gonna lie, they look damn good. But it's gonna take some time for me to get used to it. It still feels weird. It's like all I'm doing is this. <laughs> all I'm doing is this, you guys. But I think it looks freaking good. It's just gonna take some time to grow on me. Um, yeah. So the painting is going on, guys. They they reach pretty far right now. The place looks so much brighter already. You see the difference? Like, look how bright the place looks. Our room is chaos right now. When I walked in a while ago, I was like, shit. Like chaos. Like, look at the room. So they already did like the first coat of paint. This has to like dry a little bit first and then they'll put the second coat on it. Um, I can't wait for it to be like completely done and just to see what it looks like. So you see all these brown stuff? We're changing them to white. Look what it looks like. Look at God. Love it. Let me have my teeth. Okay. One of the eggs there. <laughs> they're so white. Oh my gosh, they're so
guys what's up guys oh my gosh my teeth <laughs> um i'm about to head to the shop to do my hair i'm gonna add some more k-tips up top um my birthday is coming and i want to have like a more like voluminous look i took some hair down with me when i came and i'm gonna have jilly install it for me so i'm heading there right now to get that done uh earlier i was just like rough painting the window pane boards um i gave it like the first coat and then the painter is gonna go back over it and do what he needs to do um it's i i i didn't know choosing white as the color for this freaking place was gonna be such a task like i really had no clue it was gonna be this difficult so apparently when you put white over another like color like you have to do it multiple times you have to give it like about like three four coats in order for it to look really good so right now the room has like one coat you could literally see the um i don't know if y'all could tell but like, there's you can see like the the, the cut like you see you can see the gray underneath it you know it doesn't look fully white it's like you could actually see the color peeping through from behind so it's gonna be a task i felt like i was gonna be able well i i was hoping to see i was hoping to see the place done before we leave because we leave tomorrow but but i don't know how that's gonna work out right now because this is taking longer than i anticipated <laughs> um so out here looks a little bit better though so out here because they had started out here first so out here looks way more solid you know like out here is like crisp white like out here looks fucking god <laughs> out here looks good as fuck stand down <laughs> yes yes guys the audio looks really freaking good not gonna lie about that i can't wait to see the finished product i doubt i'm gonna be able to see it until we return to jamaica yeah i'm about to head to the shop i'm just wearing this top some jean shorts and my purse from teddy blake oh my gosh guys this purse is so cute guys this purse is just super convenient and i love the fact that i can wear it like on days like this just like chill days or even like on a date night dinner night girls night whatever night like whatever occasion this purse just you could dress it up you could dress it down i'm gonna link the website and the code below so if you're interested you could go ahead and get 60 percent off guys 60 percent off this bag using my code so yay really cute purse guys absolutely love it i'm gonna head to the shop now so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit hey you guys just got back to the apartment oh my gosh guys i'm obsessed with my hair so what did i do different to my hair this time i added more hair in the front so i took away my layers and i just kept it long in the front and i have my bangs so yep super cute yeah guys so it's coming on so nicely i'm excited the place looks so much bigger already with the white oh my gosh mm, chef's kiss um i just can't wait to see the finished look can't wait to start decorating ah! it's gonna look so good guys it's gonna look so freaking good anyways um we leave tomorrow so i need to start packing or shits because everything in here got to go guys everything in here needs to be packed back up in our luggages yep everything in there needs to be packed in our luggages i can't believe that shit right now i can't believe it either but yes guys that's what's up that's what's up hey guys what's up it's a little bit later so my it's a little bit later guys and I'm about to go have lunch with my bae hey. and the princess. And I'm sure I'm just trying to look a bit like that. <laughs> we are at crew. We're gonna grab something to eat real quick. Today's my last day here. And you know I gotta make sure me and my bae catch up even more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And this is kind of our go-to spot. I feel mm -hmm. like we've been here quite a few times. Yeah, we have. And you've yeah. here quite a few times. Too. Quite a few times mm -hmm. too, yeah. I think I want the Aki thing. It's good. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> and the tacos. And the tacos, yeah. <laughs> For sure. See you guys later, y'all. Just that walk to. After five, we just here to have food. I know, but we're like, since a bar. We can't go because you're after five. Say hi. Say hi, Johnny. Say hi. Look. Say hi. 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 Say
Say hi. <laughs> so guys, we have to find we have to find a different restaurant to go to because crew does not accept babies after five. Can you believe that? Which is freaking crazy to me because it's very bright out and there's literally nobody up there. <laughs> they could have just made us get the food <laughs> and exactly. go. But um, we're about to go next door right there to TGI and see if they'll accept us. guys just got back to the apartment and i'm about to change my clothes real quick and get to packing because y'all our flight is early in the morning and it's not even late right now it's pretty early still it's just like 7 55 p.m but our flight is at 10 a.m so i need to pack and just have everything ready so i could just like relax for the rest of the night because i think i'm gonna call it a night now after i'm done packing so <laughs> done packing everything's packed up in our luggages um these will be staying here um well he'll be wearing this to the airport everything else he's leaving here i don't really like to leave my stuff he always be leaving stuff um that's my outfit right there for the airport and i have this luggage left open because I still have my skincare out that I need to pack after I use it tomorrow morning. Everything's looking good. Everything's packed and ready. Ready to go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm going to get some rest. Do my skincare. Take a bath. Get some sleep. Wake up in the morning. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we're up. Good morning, you guys. Yay, we are going home. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see my babies. I miss them so much. Uh, we are heading to the airport guys and the traffic is freaking crazy right now like so crazy let me show you how that's what the traffic is looking like and we board within it yikes <laughs> Yes, guys. So, yay. I'll talk to you guys when we get to the airport.
just got to the airport, you guys. It's actually not as packed as I thought it would have been. That's pretty good. That's amazing. That means... That means we'll have time to get food when we go upstairs because there's not much people in here. Awesome! get us some patties guys oh my gosh I hope they have chicken cheese I highly doubt they do um, shrimp some chicken okay so they have chicken so I guess we just we'll get the chicken and put our own cheese in it up some paperwork we're gonna try and get pushed back off the gate a few minutes early today try and get you there as soon as we can quickly and safely as possible once we get pushed back off the gate it should be a pretty quick taxi out of the runway wheels up to wheels down in Fort Lauderdale will be one hour 30 minutes altitude 30,000 feet guys this is the first time ever I've been to the airport here and it's like a little breeze to get through it was no hassle there was not too many people it was like perfect and the AC works guys AC works, no more big fans. I'm so happy because usually when I travel to Jamaica and the AC doesn't work and they have those big fans, I feel overwhelmed just walking through the airport. But it was just the perfect transit through the airport just now, and yeah, we're on the flight about to head home. So I'll check in you guys once we get back to Florida. ballet this time because the last time we came y'all we waited like about 30 minutes before we got our car but our car is here which is great amazing um he's just like going to claim the ticket and stuff now so we could jump in and go i can't wait to go see my babies oh my gosh the two weeks i feel like the two weeks flew by so quick it went by so freaking quick guys Do you miss Jamaica? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss it too. Are you looking for a spoof? Mm -hmm. home! Where are the babies? Oh, baby. 
big baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I missed you, dogs. I missed you too. I miss you, mommy. Oh no. There you go, boy. Ooh. You guys okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, please. I think it turns off the bottom of it. Mommy, look, I got this. I can do this game. Hey you guys, what's up? We are back home. Oh my gosh, we're home you guys. It feels so good to be in my bed right now. It has been such a long day. After we left the airport, I went to my doctor's appointment. Had like a doctor's follow appointment because I was supposed to been went back to the doctor um, since I got discharged from the hospital but my ass was in Jamaica. So <laughs> I was unable to do that. So um, as soon as I left the airport, I went straight to the doctor. Did my hospital outpatient um, visit and everything looks good. So so far um based on you know what we spoke about and stuff uh which is great absolutely great grateful for that um and then you know i was there i kind of run a few errands after grabbed some food and then came home to the babies so yeah we're here home and guys i i just realized how soon like my birthday is like my birthday is literally right there my birthday is next week you guys i cannot believe it i'll be traveling again next week and my room still looks like this <laughs> nothing's in the closets yet because i mean y'all knew no we left here with the closet freshly done so the closets are still pretty much empty um i kind of like put some shoes up in here but but other than that like everything's still everywhere the cleaners did come to clean on monday however i told them you know don't touch my clothes just clean around them <laughs> You know, clean the articles, don't touch them because I need to like go through them first before I have them like put them up and stuff. So, still clothes everywhere, guys. This was chaos because after we finished packing for Jamaica, the place was absolutely nuts. The place was a huge mess, but they actually reorganized the clothes back onto the couches and they put like the hangers and stuff Zuri's bed is still full full af but jaja's bed is empty jaja's bed is empty so this is where both of them been sleeping <laughs> i feel so discombobulated i don't work well with clutter so my thoughts are all over the place and the fact that my birthday is next week it does not help anymore <sighs> It does not help at all. I feel a bit stressed. I'm not even gonna lie. But I'm just like... I want to show you guys something. Because I got that package. I have so many packages to show you guys. But I feel like I'm gonna show y'all in the next vlog. But in this one, I'm gonna show you all one specific thing. Um, Where is it? I think I put it in my closet. Let me show you guys. Hold on. I'm gonna show you guys this. Because I was telling you guys about it. Uh, this right here i have so many packages guys so many stuff so these are the glasses i don't know if y'all remember me telling you about the glasses that i ordered from louis vuitton when i was doing the q a these are the blue light glasses and i wanted to show you guys since i promised you guys i was going to show you when i get home so let's do that so this is it it has like the little details on it it's so cute the reason why I got this glass is because I find myself editing a lot in the early mornings and the late nights because that's when I have most of like my downtime. So whenever using the computer at those hours or even at all, even in the daytime period, you're supposed to wear like a blue light blocker. And these glasses are blue light blockers. They help to protect the eyes from the electronics. Damn, how do I get this shut off? I'm gonna get it off. Let me put it on. Oh, yes. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it a lot. What is it given? Is it given? <laughs> Yeah, so these are my new guys. I'm so excited about them. So you guys, I think this is where I'll be ending this vlog. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys so freaking much. No lies. Like, I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you who made it this far in the vlog. <laughs> or even halfway of it because I know my vlogs be long. But 
I really do appreciate you guys um continued support and I want to say thank you so 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 much for always tuning in and stay tuned for the next vlog I promise I will be dropping the next vlog early too I really hope you guys enjoy the video if you did please make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure to comment below it really helps a lot with the algorithm I would truly appreciate if you do and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye Be produced.